What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be taking a little look at Rapashi gel food. So stay tuned to find out more. What's up Fanatics family? How's it going? Today we're doing a mini series on a, your Wednesday afternoon and today we're going to be speaking about the one and only Rapashi gel food. Right here as you can see. Here's the tub of the food we're going to be using. I'll put a little uh, picture up on the screen for all the ingredients that it's got in it. It's packed, jam packed with absolutely great ingredients like krill meal, spirulina, peas, bananas, seaweed, so much goodness is within this little bottle. And today we're gonna show you how to prepare it, uh, best for your goldfish, and also why it's such a good food. So let's get into the kitchen and whip up a new batch. The Rapashi gel food is really good because gel foods can help stop swim bladder problems, um, or complications within the gut that you can always find with pellet foods and that is why a lot of people use this Rapashi um, that was originally formulated in the US. The nutritional benefits are really good of this with this food however it can mess up your water quality a little bit but as we know goldfish are pretty messy creatures anyway so you should have adequate filtration uh, to cope with that and it might cloud the water for around an hour depending on the consistency you make it. So one thing we need to start with is first of all the rapashi right here. We also need a Tupperware like this one or otherwise you can use a different tub like, like this one which I like to use. I think this is about 15 years old from when I was a baby but still works, does the job. And also we need a little measuring spoon. First thing we need to do is boil the kettle. Then we're gonna take our tub, make sure it's nice and clean and dry. Then pop open the rapashi. And then, and then we're gonna use one spoon. So I just like to use one scoop. Make sure you've shaken it up so it's the different ingredients are nicely distributed. So one spoon like that, make sure you don't eat it, it's not good for you. And then put that in there like so. And then once the kettle's boiled, we're gonna do three scoops of this, not quite up to the top, so a similar amount of as the rapashi that we put in there. And then we're gonna mix that all up so it's a nice uh, runny paste. A few moments later. Yeah, I'm sure I'll show you how to make other homemade foods as well. This isn't really a homemade, this is just, um, as I said, a gel food. And there's plenty of other different foods we can make, lots of different recipes. So I might do some future videos on that because it's not, it's not good to just feed your goldfish a diet of just pellets. It's good to have some variation. And as I said previously, this helps stop swim bladder complications and air arising in the gut of the fish. That's pretty well stirred up. Just like that. And then, like to lick the spoon. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Got it. So I like to bang that out and then the spoon, it will dry really quickly on the spoon so you can just dip that in your tank and the fish will, will love that. Um, so now let's, so you can see the consistency here. So now we'll get that one in the fridge and in about 20 minutes that'll be ready to use and we can give the goldfish some food. Nice. The rapashi's been in the fridge for about 10 to 20 minutes and it's formed a solid consistency now, just like thick jelly really. So we're gonna give it to the fish and see if they enjoy it.
So the fish have been fed. Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Have a good week and I'll catch you on Sunday with another episode of Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Happy fish keeping. <laughs>